finally, I am doing my The Boys finale slash The Boys season three full review. Um, I've been wanting to do this for like, cause it just came out on Friday. Um, today is Sunday, so I want to wait a few days. And I'm saying to like get my head around it and to give it time because I'm gonna be talking about spoilers. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Overall, this episode, this final episode was so awesome. This season was awesome. Definitely, without a doubt, it's not even debatable. This is the best season yet. And like this series, The Boys, literally has entered its spot. Be it like for the greatest comic book shows, it's between Daredevil, um, The Boys, and Arrow for me. You know what I'm saying? But to other people, it's just Daredevil and um The Boys. But this series is fantastic, especially this season. This, like, the, the series overall was, like, crazy enough. This, this season took it up, uh, like, a, over a hundred. This season took it up a notch. Not just Butcher getting powers. They also introduced Soldier Boy, Jensen Ackles, playing him. Like, oh my god, like, I remember him growing up from the su from Supernatural and Smallville, and oh my god, finally, man, like, he, like, he, they chose a perfect actor to play Soldier Boy, because Soldier Boy's a badass, man, my favorite character in the entire series, and we got to see more of Black Noir's uh, past, and we get to see Homelander, like, I don't want to say, like, <sighs> It's hard with Homelander because it's hard to like really explain, but we see him trying to figure himself out more. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I loved. You know what I'm saying? And I really, really enjoyed the fight scenes in this season. You know what I'm saying? They were fucking badass. Excuse my language, but they were badass. And overall, like the backstory between like Noir, Soldier Boy, you know what I'm saying? And it all leads up to to Homelander being Soldier Boy's son. You know what I'm saying? And I feel I love that. You know what I'm saying? I love stuff that like have storylines that go full circle, you know what I'm saying? And like I mean like it doesn't it's not really necessarily going full circle because like because like it, it was it was it was it was like a straight storyline, you know I'm saying, but like like to us, like we didn't know that was his father, you know what I'm saying? We only knew that that was Black Noir's past, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Um but overall, like, like I really enjoyed the season. I really enjoyed the finale. But there are some things I didn't necessarily like about the finale. And I hate to, like, complain about it. But I'm going to have to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? What I didn't like about the finale was that, like... Okay, so Butcher did all of this. Worked with Soldier Boy. Planned to kill him all this time. Just for him to blink when, like, yes, Ryan was there and he promised Becca, which I respect him for that. And I'm saying he kept his promise, man of his word. But all he had to do was take him out of there. All he had to do was real quick get Maeve or something like that to hold Homelander, get Ryan out of there, and then Soldier Boy could have done his thing. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to betray him. You literally led him there. You literally let him there to go kill him, and then you're gonna try to kill him. Like, what? 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 It kind of doesn't make sense, but you know, those are kind of like my little nitpicks, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to nitpick, like, those. that's my, like, main problem. But other than that, like, I love the finale. Other than that, I love the finale. It's just because, like, Soldier Boy is my favorite in this entire series, you know what I'm saying? He became such a goaded character. Also, like, I'm kind of, like, Black Noir's death was so sad. Hashtag justice for noir but we'll, we'll talk more about that but i didn't really necessarily like how he died like okay like it kind of like it was kind of badass and kind of didn't make sense like homelander was like why didn't you tell me you're supposed to be my best friend so he killed you for that you know what i'm saying but i wish like he, he kind of like he kind of had his i wish he had his interactions with soldier boy in person like dialogue like like he, like i wish they had a fight scene or something you know what i'm saying and i and we didn't really get to see them interact we didn't get to see them have a final conversation you know what i'm saying and i was hoping for like black noir and homelander versus butcher and um soldier boy which would have been badass and mave like mave was a badass in this episode but we'll get to that we'll get to that but yeah i wish black noir had more in this episode but hit but it's just very sad and you know i'm saying black noir died justice for black noir but yeah very sad and i i i the director i'm, I'm pretty sure it's the writer or the director of the series said that black noir can be recasted 
And I and I was talking to my friend about this and he, my bro, and he was saying how this might be where in the comics, um, Black Noir is really a clone of Homelander. But they he said that maybe this is where they make the clone of Homelander. Or in this case, maybe even a Soldier Boy clone now that they have Soldier Boy. Or it might be a Soldier Boy brainwashed and put into the whole, into the Black Noir costume. I mean, th- I mean, I mean, the writer was saying how like Black Noir is a character that can be recasted, recasted, and I, like that made me think like, bro, what do they what do they mean by that? You know what I'm saying? Are they trying to do something new with it? You know what I'm saying? Um, but hey, hey, justice for Noir. I hope he does return. Um, if it's the Homelander clone or anything like that, I'm gonna be so excited. I can't wait for season four, man. Now let's talk about Maeve. All right. I didn't really necessarily like her character ever since after the whole plane incident. Like, like, she's a, she, 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 like, they, were, they went there to, to, to help them, you know what I'm saying? To save them, not from dying from the plane. And yes, Homelander was the only strong one to hold up the plane, but she's supposed to be the boy's version of Wonder Woman. Like, at least try yourself. If he's not going to do it, I'm going to do it myself. Keep your morals. You're supposed to be a hero. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be a hero. And then she only grabs two people. But that's what I kind of didn't really necessarily like. But this this season kind of made me have, like feel like feel bad for her. And like now, like that one bad scene where she took down Homelander herself. She put up more of a fight against Homelander than Soldier Boy and Butcher did at the same time. Maeve is a badass, man. Maeve is a badass. This episode was so good with her, man. Like, sh- like she was literally stomping him was a badass like she was holding her own against homelander and if, if anything she was winning she was winning against homelander like yes she had her eye like a bit like 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 scratch like, like i don't know exactly what he did i think like he like perfect his finger in her eye yeah I, yeah he did do that but um yeah and like and like even after like she she was kicking his ass she put something in his ear and like she was f- fucking him up and and then the the final thing where she pushes Soldier Boy out the window, badass, badass. So now on to the Deep and A Train. I wanted to talk about them too. So uh, I was talking to, to this girl from from my from my class, and she was telling me. Now I mean we were talking about like like redeemable characters, and I'm not gonna lie, A Train. I guess he he's a redeemable character. Now he's going through what he now he's going through this this period this period of time where it's like now he knows how it feels to lose somebody or or like knows how it feels for somebody close to you to be hurt. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like yes, now he's redeemable. The deep though, nah, he's not redeemable. Like bro, no offense, like you can see in his eyes, like he's like this isn't the right move or this isn't something that's good, but he still does it anyways, man. Like I I I think like. I think if they were going to sacrifice somebody instead of Noir, I think it should have been the Deep. But I guess they would just want to keep him from the next season. But yeah, um, that's my part for the redeemable characters. I'm saying mainly just them two. Who else could be redeemable? I don't know. I really love the dynamic between Huey and Butcher this season. Like, this season's been much more stronger. Like, like we finally see Butcher's past. A uh, weapon to him and his father and his brother and his mother, you know what I'm saying? And now we see how he looks at Huey as a brother, as a little brother, you know what I'm saying? And I love that, man. Like, like the dynamic between Huey and Butcher. Butcher's the more strong, badass one. Huey's more of the smart calm and like and like don't kill you know what i'm saying type of guy you know what i'm saying and i love the, the dynamic you know what i'm saying and i loved how it was portrayed in this season of all you know what i'm saying even when when soldier boy punched him across the face and sent him flying butcher was like i'm gonna kill you for that but not but not he obviously held back but um yeah, and even when they were about to take the the the, the com, uh, compound Petem v and he knew it was gonna kill him so he said no only me and obviously knocked him out, but it's a nice way of doing something mean, but you know, so. And I really love Soldier Boy, like, I love his, like, like he has connections to Black Noir in the past, he has connections to, uh, to uh, M.M., Mother's Milk, where he killed his family, and like, this is where it all, like, lines up and meets up, you know what I'm saying? And I really love that aspect, and yo, uh, the soldier boy is such a badass man. So so MM threw a little canister that was supposed to knock him out the gas tank thing and he took it, smoked it, and, and he said, You killed my family. He said, Which one? Badass. 
badass. Soldier Boy is my favorite character in this entire series, and um, and when he when when uh, Homelander was like, "You're my you're my uh, father, and I'm Sam, your son," and like he was telling about his grandson Ryan stuff like that, and he said, "You're a fucking disappointment." Oh my god, disrespectful, man, disrespectful. But I love it, man. I love it. It's it's funny, man. But um, yeah, I, I love Soldier Boy, and I'm saying he's one of the best combo characters out there right now. And Kimiko, she was literally one, she's literally a badass in like in this season. I'm saying she's a badass in all the seasons, but like in this in this, in this season, we see her lose her powers because of um Soldier Boy's blasting a uh, nuclear blast. I guess like takes out um the temp, I mean the compound V in their system. But yeah, um, and we see her like have this crazy fight scene. I'm pretty sure it's the Hero Gasm episode. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. But it was so badass. Like we thought, like she was gonna die or something, and nah. Uh, with this was a without powers. Keep in mind, without powers, she was a badass. And yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I love like I love like how this season like portrayed it even more. And I'm saying we see her like more like the emotional side of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like she wants to talk and like she wants to like do stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I love that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Um, Kamiko was a great, uh, was, this season was great for Kamiko also, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's go. And Starlight. I feel like Starlight's the only hero in this entire series who keeps her morals. And does what she has to do. Even when she, she doesn't like Homelander. She fucking hates Homelander, just like the rest of them. But she's like, <clears throat> even when, when Soldier Boy is going to kill him, um, she's like, no. We have to save, we have to stop it because there are people in the building. She keeps her morals. I feel like she's the only real superhero. You know what I'm saying? In the entire series. Yeah, she has her moments where it's like, where it's like, she probably, I, I don't know if she ever really killed somebody. I probably forgot. But, yeah, she does have her, she does like, like she's the only one who keeps her morals. You know what I'm saying? In check. But yeah. Yeah. It's Ryan. I like, oh my god, like, like, Butcher, like, he didn't have to do Ryan like that. He didn't have to say, like, uh, you think I want to look at you, uh, like, what, what you did to my, my, my Becca, or something like that. And, like, he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. And, like, like, I feel bad for Ryan. Like, he, like, he literally, literally lost his mother. Like, he literally, he literally finds out he has a souped dad who's a real a-hole and then loses his mother to his accident that he, he didn't necessarily kill her, but, like, he... It's kind of the reason she kind of died, but no, not he's not the reason, but like, like she he blasted and it kind of hit her, and um, and yeah, like Kit's been through a lot now, and like man, like I feel like now he's gonna be in his bright burn stage, man, and that cannot happen because now, um, it will be a butcher versus. Um, it'll be the boys versus Homelander and Ryan, and if if um Soldier Boy wakes up, he's coming after Butcher, and they're fucked. The badass fight scene between Soldier Boy and Homelander and Butcher was so badass. My favorite fight scene in the entire series. Enter in its top ten. Enter in my top ten uh, comic book, live action comic book movie uh, or TV show fight scenes. Live action comic book fight scenes. It was so badass. So badass. Overall, I really love this season. I really love this series. Um, it just like entered like before. It was in my top five, but now it's entered like my top two um, comic book shows of all time. You know what I'm saying? Cause like in the top two, I had Daredevil and Arrow. You know me. I love Arrow and I love Daredevil. But and the boy and I I I I'm pretty sure I had like the Punisher or Peacemaker there. But now, nah. The boys went up a lot. And yeah, um, I love the boys, you know what I'm saying? I really enjoy it, and I'm so happy with this season. This season is the best of all, and I cannot wait for season four. Season four is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. So I can't wait. Let's go. Um, and we also get that the boys spinoff series. The, it's like this college thing. My friend was, t my bro was telling me about it. But yeah, I can't wait for that. You know what I'm saying? The, there's a lot of content about uh, for for the boys. You know what I'm saying coming soon. And yeah, I'm so excited for it. Let's go.